Hey guys, Vicky Barcelona here and I'm here at the Seattle Center for the Tattoo Expo. Let's go check it out. Hi, and I'm here with um, Fuchsia Fox. Really? Now, Fuchsia? I see you're getting tattooed right now. What, what are you getting today? Um, I'm getting two bows with like a heart, like a negative space heart behind them. Is there a story behind them or is it just because it looks really rad? Um, I just like drew a sketch of it like like earlier this month and I um, I had it in my sketchbook and then I'm working here. What's the craziest so I, tattoo you think you've seen? Oh God, I would have to really like use my brain to think about that. Um, you know what, okay, once I saw a dude whose armpit, you know, dude's armpits are hairy. Yeah. And then on each, like down his ribs and then up his arm was like two legs, women's legs. So like that was her Sexy. Um, yeah, I just think, hmm. That'd be horrible if he went to prison, huh? Okay, so I'm with, what's your name? Jared Ammons. And uh, what tattoo shop are you out of? Liquid Chaos out of uh, Brownstown, Michigan. Sweet. If you guys are in Michigan, go here because I'm looking at your work and it looks awesome so far. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now, what's the weirdest tattoo you've ever done or the weirdest request? That's a hard one. There's been so many. There's uh, anything you could possibly think of. I've pretty much done it over about 20 years I've been doing this. Have you had a tattoo of PP yet? Absolutely. And what, what, what stuff do people get done on their um, thingy? Uh, I got an elephant on mine. Um, but that's just funny. Is it wrong if I ask to see it? No, not at all. Maybe not for camera, but I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah, um, do you have any tattoos that you might regret or wish you maybe would have thought a little bit better of? Absolutely. Which one's the worst one, you think? I have a horrible grasshopper sitting on a mushroom smoking a bong on my leg. <laughs> You're kidding. That's awesome. Why would you regret that? Did you ever play, a, I think it's called a tattoo roulette, where you kind of like random, like it's like Russian roulette and whoever loses has to get a random tattoo. Have you ever done that? Yes, I have. Yeah. We do it at the shop sometimes. It's funny. What's, uh, what are, what are some that you've gotten so far? Um, I've never lost, so I've, I've done very well with that, um, but I've watched guys get everything as far as like a coyote dress and a pink tutu to, um, uh, let's see, uh, a lollipop with, um, with, a, with a penis on the inside of it. I thought it was like a, like a faded penis inside of it. That was That'd be perfect for a penis tattoo, too. It absolutely would be perfect. A lollipop in general would be perfect for a penis tattoo. So, I'm walking around the Tattoo Expo, and look who I found, our good old buddy, uh, Tony. How you doing? Good. What are you getting tattooed? I am getting uh, a photograph of my hand drawing a rose. Now, who's tattooing you today? Uh, Jeff Hayes from Rival Tattoo in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque? Well, now that means I have to, you know, when Bugs Bunny accidentally makes his uh, road trip, he'll get to the right spot. Right. <laughs> and why on your butt? It's on the back of my thigh. <laughs> it's on your butt. Well, fair enough. <laughs> uh, but why there? Uh, the most real estate, I guess. Yeah, you are pretty covered yeah. up. Now, uh, what, what's the weirdest tattoo you've ever given someone? <laughs> Bioham biohazard symbols and a banner that said herpes right above a female's vagina. Yeah, she didn't have daddy issues. No. <laughs> she claimed it was her last uh, effort to warn somebody. <laughs> So does she actually have an STD? Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, you can't blame a girl. At least she warned the people. You, know? you might have seen her in LA Inc. or you might have seen her artwork somewhere. But I got to tell you, I'm one of your biggest fans. I'm here with Amy Nicoletto. Hi, how you doing? How are you enjoying Seattle so far? Um, It's beautiful. It hasn't rained yet. So, I mean, that's a big change. And um, I really haven't had much time to see the city, but what little I have seen, I could actually yeah, probably live here. You've probably tattooed a lot of interesting things, a lot of beautiful art. Now, I gotta wanna, I want to know, what's the weirdest thing you've ever had a tattoo on somebody, whether location or what it was in general? The weirdest, um, I feel bad for the guy, but uh, he actually had one of his testicles removed because he had testicular cancer. So I did an, uh, one of his nuts, <laughs> uh, with the tube coming off of it and I did in memory of old lefty and the day of his birth and the day that you know he lost his uh, his testicle so that would be the weirdest one I guess but that's actually pretty cool yeah, it's kind of cool you know whatever helps him get over it and it was his only tattoo now, too. I know you're covered what is your favorite tattoo you think right now 
Ah, uh, God, I have quite a few, but my favorite was the one that Permanent Mark just did. Um, it's actually a hand poke. He was taught by uh, the Buddhist monks in Thailand. Um, so it's a protection uh, prayer against, you know, just negativity and evil people and uh, just, you know, protects me from bad things. And that would be my favorite, I would say. I've asked everyone this, but uh, have you ever had a tattoo of pee-pee? I uh, no, but I've been asked and I told them yes I would do it but they're holding it and they're paying me a lot of money I don't know if when push came to shove I'd actually do it though I don't think I could oh come on you wouldn't want to do like a lightsaber or maybe a popsicle or something silly a middle finger uh, I don't know maybe you'd be wearing gloves yeah yeah but they'd be holding it I wouldn't touch it I would just you know have a shield on my face huh? like I'm welding you know That'd be awesome. Yeah. So that was the expo. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 .9 KISW.